El club más exclusivo del mundo. Ese era mi sitio. Evelyn, eres la mujer más importante de Palm Beach. No me caes bien, Maxine. Se te da muy bien crear momentos incómodos. I wanted to start with you, Kirsten. I wanted to know um, what did you find so interesting in Palm Royal that made you want to become involved not only as the star but also as an EP. Um, a lot of things, starting mm. with the list of people involved and Laura Dern reaching out to me. Um, I read the book. I read the script. Um, loved every person involved. It was just kind of a, a short list of checks. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, there wasn't even a doubt in my mind. And this, the first script that I read, the pilot, I thought was so different from anything that I'd read. And um, yeah, I just, it was an easy yes for me. Yeah, that that first episode gets you really hooked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Yes. And Maxine is <laughs> a, a great, great character to to follow, since Maxine is quite an expert in, in, in the art of faking it till you make it. I wanted to know if, uh, if you can recall a moment in your life where you had to um, Make it the hardest <laughs> till till you make it the the hugest mas maxim uh, you ha you had to do in your career. Oh gosh, wow. that's a Fake hard it question. Okay. Okay. Fake it till you make it. Um, I don't know. Do you guys you have one? Fake it. I would say, you know, there's definitely, I've always said this job is very tidal, meaning there are these big tides that come and go in your career, right? And the thing is, when you're in an in tide, it's really easy to not have to fake it. But when you're in an out tide and you know, like you're cold, you know what I mean? And, and you, you, you go cold sometimes in this business where people don't, you're just not, you're not in demand. And that's when you got to fake it and you got to, you know, keep the energy and belief in yourself. I mean, it's like being an athlete in that way. It's like... You go on a losing season, but you, and you, you just know there's going to be a comeback and believe there's going to be a comeback. So I think that's the thing that I've always had to, when I've felt like, oh, wow, I got to just believe in myself and there's no, no one else is going to do it. That's a good answer. That's good. Yeah. yeah. yeah I also think that, listen, if, 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 you, if you went to high school at a certain moment, you needed to fake it to be part of a group or to be belong, to feel that you belong. So everyone could relate to this story because at a certain moment we all have to go there yeah. and and i think that was that's what's amazing about about this story it, you know it doesn't matter where you come from it doesn't matter your status your social status we always wanted to be something at a certain moment of our lives that we're just not part of period yeah. in a weird way i see this show kind of like what how i think a lot of people who are in this business at least see the oscars right the palm royale is the oscars of <laughs> right. palm beach and everyone is yearning to be there and be a part of it and wear the most beautiful dress and you know be the the royalty of the of the of the event the right and i think we can all yeah, mean, that's, I, that's, you, you can relate yeah. to that to the extent i watch the oscars you know every year as always i had since i was a kid and there's always this aspirational thing that you go like when do I, you know, when can I be a part of that group, right? Or how do I get to be a part of that group? Yeah. Yeah, it's all great, great answers. I, I, I also uh, related to that. I thought that it's really interesting that Max, as you said, Ricky, we are, we have, everybody has a Maxine in, in the, <laughs> inside of them. They, uh, we all uh, always want to be in that inner circle or, or being, yeah, at the top as possible. Um, I wanted to know, since you're certainly uh, closer to those inner circles or to the fame and fortune circles uh, than me, if you had somebody like Maxine uh, in front of you, uh, what would you say to tell her, calm down, this is not... <laughs> yes, uh, I would say baby, calm down. <laughs> Relax, baby, come on, keep it simple, let it flow. Exactly. <laughs> well, I, I think that is also... Not one. No, I think also part of her want for that life is so deep. And I think that's something that we can also relate to. It's never really about like the group or the place, but it's about like, what is it in us that wants that and doesn't feel fulfilled if we don't have it. And of course, in the end, you know, you just want to say you're fine the way you are and <laughs> accept who you are. And the people who want to be around you, that's that's a good clue that you should just 
you know, look at the people that are already around you. Yeah, for sure. Um, I also wanted uh, to ask you about working with Carol Burnett because I, I thought it's really difficult to make uh, that physical acting, that that babbling and, and uh, make it hilarious, but also uh, knowing what she's going through in every scene. So what was the experience to, to share those, those, uh, this work with her and how was she uh, off camera? Oh, man. Incredible. Um, beautiful. Amazing. Amazing. I think you made a good point, too. Like, she is in a coma in the beginning. And because it's her, you lean a little towards the funny rather than the, the feeling sorry for her. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> because it's it's yeah. just she's sleeping, but it's like funny. And she doesn't, she doesn't <laughs> let you feel sorry for her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's incredibly, incredibly professional. But there was a moment where I had a little monologue in front of her while she was in a coma where I'm supposed to be really sad and she would just open her eye a little bit and that's it. I, she had me there. I had to stop. Hey, hey, can we do it again? <laughs> because because she's she's wonderful like that. She's just funny. She brings so much light to the to to, to the room she walks into. It's, yeah. It was wonderful. Yeah, I cracked every time she she when she bubbles, uh, she mumbles. It's it's amazing. Boop, boop, it's... Boop, 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 and I could understand her at in the end. Yeah, I also <laughs> spoke a little bit of Norma. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for this wonderful interview and congratulations for the show. I really enjoyed it a lot. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. No estoy hasta el cuello. Lo necesito para mis mejores joyas. Tú sé. En Palm Beach, un secreto es como una pistola cargada. Nunca sabes cuándo van a disparar. Ni quién será la víctima.